Good evening. I thought we would pray today um, using the Gospel of Mark story from chapter 7, verses 24 to 30. From there he set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there, yet he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him. She came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Seraphonician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, for saying that you may go, the demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying in the bed, and the demon gone. Let us pray. I invite you to close your eyes, to breathe in deeply, and to breathe out. I invite you to breathe in and to breathe out crumbs from your table. You heard over and over again your child's possessed. Can't you make your child behave? Can't you make your child be quiet? Can't your child sit still? Maybe you should leave. Your child is upsetting me. Crumbs from the table. You've tried everything, every herbal supplement, every medication, every psychiatrist, psychologist, doctor, healer, teacher. You have changed your child's diet. No sugar, no wheat, more veggies. You have exercised more. You are tired. You've had enough. Where can you turn for help, for hope, for comfort? Crumbs from the table. Jesus was hiding out. He didn't want to see anyone. He was tired. Everywhere he went, people needed. They needed his healing touch. He wanted to be alone. He wanted to rest. He wanted to recharge his batteries, but he couldn't get away. Crumbs from the table. The mother begged him to heal her child, her daughter, to make her well. She fell to her knees. She bowed down, praying that he who had done so much could change the life of her daughter crumbs from your table. You, outcast, you, unwanted, you, immigrant, you, refugee. Jesus said, I'm not here to help your people. I'm here to change the lives of my people. I'm here to save my people. It's not fair to take the children's through food and throw it to the dogs. Crumbs from the table. Did this holy one, this healer, just call me the B word? Is he saying I'm not even human? This can't be the man I heard about. He's supposed to embody com compassion. I was told he was kind. How could he speak to me this way? How could he ignore my child? Crumbs from the table. Sir, even the dogs. Sir, even the dogs. Sir, even the dogs get crumbs crumbs from the table. How many hoops must I jump through? How many times do I have to give them the same documents? How many times must I tell them this story? Why is it so hard? Why do people make it so difficult? Why do they see us as less than them? Crumbs from the table. She called out. This foreign mother held him accountable for his words, his promises. This bee made him actually think about what it means to love your neighbor. Crumbs from the table. For saying that, for calling him out, for making him see his hypocrisy, Jesus said, your daughter is free. Your daughter is whole. Crumbs from the table. She ran home all the way. She kept praying, let it be true. She prayed, let it be real. There she lay, her daughter, on her bed, calm, quiet, well. Crumbs from the table. Oh Lord, there are some of us now today who are receiving crumbs. We ask, we ask that your crumbs 
the crumbs that they've been given be turned. We ask that you bring your healing presence to those who are sick, that you bring your healing love to those who are grieving, that you bring more than crumbs, more than compassion, more than kindness, to those who are homeless, to those who are hungry, to those who are out of work, to those whose medical care is insufficient. We ask you to change those crumbs to make them worthy of you. Amen. <laughs>